Want to speak real German from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at GermanPod101.com. Hi everyone, this is Henrik from GermanPod101.com. Do you know how to say I love you in German? In this lesson, you'll learn three ways to say I love you, and on top of that, one special phrase for the upcoming Valentine's Day. Let's start with the most common phrase. Ich liebe dich. Ich liebe dich. I love you. This phrase is really direct, so you should only use it when you're really confessing your love. It's not really what you say so much to, to your mom or something like in, like in English. It's really more romantic. If you want to be a little bit less direct, you can use this phrase. Du bedeutest mir sehr viel. Du bedeutest mir sehr viel. It means you mean so much to me. You guys really mean a lot to me also because you're watching my videos. But that's rather a less romantic way, okay? If you want to be more romantic in expressing your love for someone, you can say this phrase. Worte können meine Liebe zu dir nicht beschreiben. Worte können meine Liebe zu dir nicht beschreiben. It means words can't describe my love for you. Cheesy, cheesy, okay? Now you know three different ways to say I love you in German. And here's one more. If you want to spend Valentine's Day with someone really special, then you can use this phrase. Möchtest du mit mir am Valentinstag ausgehen? Do you want to go out with me on Valentine's Day? Möchtest du mit mir am Valentinstag ausgehen? To make sure you won't go home alone on Valentine's Day, let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what we've learned. Listen to the expressions and repeat after me. I love you. Ich liebe dich. Ich liebe dich. You mean so much to me. Du bedeutest mir sehr viel. Du bedeutest mir sehr viel. Words can't describe my love for you. Worte können meine Liebe zu dir nicht beschreiben. Worte können meine Liebe zu dir nicht beschreiben. Do you want to go out with me on Valentine's Day? Möchtest du mit mir am Valentinstag ausgehen? Möchtest du mit mir am Valentinstag ausgehen? Well done! Did you know that on Valentine's Day the most prominent symbol is a rotes Herz or red heart. It hangs in many shop windows in Germany. They also adorn greeting cards with inscriptions like For you, Für dich and I love you or Ich liebe dich. You just learned how to say I love you in three different ways in German and a special phrase for Valentine's Day. Ten ways to remember words. Let's get started right away. Ich höre Lieder und lerne die Liedtexte auswendig. I listen to songs and memorize the lyrics. Yeah, that's true. I wrote them down actually and yeah, it's like a good way, I think. Ich lerne den Ursprung der Wörter näher kennen und wie verschiedene Wörter miteinander verwandt sind. I learn about the roots of words and how different words are related to each other. Where is this from? How can I use it differently? I think too, if you know the meaning of a word, that it's very easy to memorize. Ich lese, schreibe und wiederhole Wörter immer wieder. I read, write and say words over and over again. Well, it's kind of like school. I don't know if you remember, but uh, when I learned, for example, another language, the teacher always made us write like a vocabulary list, words, the meaning and how to write it. So I think it's, um, it's a really, really good way to memorize words. Ich schaue oft TV oder YouTube Videos, die für Kinder gemacht sind. I often watch TV or YouTube videos that are designed for young children. I actually learned English through Harry Potter, which I read all of the books. Ich spreche so oft wie möglich mit Muttersprachlern. 
I speak as often as possible with native speakers. I really recommend this because native speakers are very natural in their way of even talking, the body language. So I think um, if you have a chance to talk to native speakers about your everyday life, that's the best way actually to study a language. And of course, on the side, you should study grammar and all the um, important things so you can actually talk to the native speaker as well but uh, I think it's one of the best ways too to remember and just get your, the everyday life language. Ich verbinde neue Wörter mit Wörtern, die ähnlich in meiner Muttersprache klingen. I associate new words with words that sound similar in my native language. Yeah, I think that's something that you do naturally actually when um, that's what I do in English. I translate it in my head in German automatically. And, um, when, and it's actually interesting to see how many languages are very similar to each other. I think this is a really good way to, to remember new words and use them. Ich versuche auf Deutsch zu denken, damit sich meine Denkweise anpasst. I try to think in German so it becomes natural to my thought process. Yeah, this is... Um, I think a little bit um, harder maybe, but it's uh, definitely worth a try because uh, your thoughts are something you maybe like can't really control. And so if you really think in German, it just becomes more natural to speak. So uh, definitely try to think in German and maybe write things down so you memorize them and use them. Ich versuche routinemäßig die Sprache auf mein tägliches Leben anzuwenden. I try to use the language routinely in the context of my daily life. Yeah, that's uh, I think very important to just going to the supermarket, writing down what you need in German or just your every day when you wake up and just think of your every um, task you want to do or if you just think or write it down in German, it just makes much more of a difference. So viel wie möglich zu lesen, vor allem Zeitung, hilft mir dabei, sich Wörter zu merken. Reading as much as possible, especially the newspaper, helps me to remember words. Once you can read and understand the newspaper, it's very advanced and so I recommend that as well. Even reading in general makes such a big difference. Ich verbinde Wörter mit Zeichnungen, Bilder und lustigen Szenen. I associate words with drawings, pictures, and funny scenes. Yeah, this is something I really actually do because I am a very visual person and I believe if you visualize something, it's just in your head easier. Top 10 phrases to amaze native speakers. Let's begin. Außer Deutsch kann ich auch ein paar andere Sprachen sprechen. Apart from knowing German, I can speak a few other languages as well. Außer Deutsch kann ich auch ein paar andere Sprachen sprechen. Apart from knowing German, I can speak a few other languages as well. I'm curious to know what other languages you can speak or you're actually learning besides from German. Danke, aber ich bin eigentlich kein Muttersprachler. Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker, actually. Danke, aber ich bin eigentlich kein Muttersprachler. Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker, actually. That is an answer if somebody um, thinks you're actually German or you talk like a German native speaker. So that's a big compliment, I think. Deutsch macht Spaß und ist einfach zu lernen. German is fun and easy to learn. Deutsch macht Spaß und ist einfach zu lernen. German is fun and easy to learn. Of course, that's something I would love to hear. If something is fun, it gets easy. So if you're enjoying German, I think you're being in a good mood and then it gets easy because you're actually wanting to learn. Ich habe alles genau verstanden, was du gesagt hast. I completely understood everything you said. Ich habe alles genau verstanden, was du gesagt hast. I completely understood everything you said. I think that's something 
really nice if if somebody's still learning German and um, you talk to them like uh, you're talking to a native speaker and they tell you wow I really understood everything that's something that's a big compliment but it's also a big compliment for you because it means that you understood everything. Ich habe nur ein Jahr gebraucht um fließend zu werden. It took me only one year to become fluent. Ich habe nur ein Jahr gebraucht, um fließend zu werden. It took me only one year to become fluent. If you've become fluent in a year, that's amazing. Ich kann deutsche Filme ohne Untertitel gucken. I can watch German movies without subtitles. Ich kann deutsche Filme ohne Untertitel gucken. I can watch German movies without subtitles. I always suggest to watch movies without subtitles because um, even if you don't understand, it's very visual and you can use your imagination. Ich kann rund 50 neue deutsche Wörter pro Tag auswendig lernen. I can memorize around 50 new German words a day. Ich kann rund 50 neue deutsche Wörter pro Tag auswendig lernen. I can memorize around 50 new German words a day. That is amazing. I mean, 50 new German words. Every day learning new German words is going to help you to be, become fluent. Ich lerne ganz alleine Deutsch. I'm learning German all by myself. Ich lerne ganz alleine Deutsch. I'm learning German all by myself. I mean, I think I would be a little sad if you said that to me because I hope you learn with me. But of course, it's a very great thing if you can learn on your own a language and study. Ich lerne seit zehn Jahren Deutsch. I've been learning German for 10 years. Ich lerne seit zehn Jahren Deutsch. I've been learning German for 10 years. Many people give up maybe, but uh, in 10 years you can you can learn so much um, German. Let me know how long have you been learning German. In drei Jahren werde ich Deutsch wie ein Muttersprachler sprechen. I'll speak German like a native speaker in three years. In drei Jahren werde ich Deutsch wie ein Muttersprachler sprechen. I'll speak German like a native speaker in three years. I always think it's good to set goals and um, because I really think if you work hard for them, you'll make it. So um, what is your goal in learning German? Have you set any goals? Leave me in the comments. The 10 foods that will kill you faster. Ugh. Bonbon. Candy. Viele Kinder lieben bonbons. Um, a lot of children love candy. My favorite German candy is Mauam. I don't know if you know, it's, uh, it has different fruity flavors and um, it's very yummy. So if you go to Germany, definitely get Mauam. Fertig Nudeln, instant noodles. Um, in Deutschland gibt es ein Wort, das heißt Studentenfutter. Um, und die Fertignudeln gehören dazu. In Germany there's a word called student's food um, and it's instant noodles is one of those student foods. Kartoffelchips, potato chips. Ich persönlich liebe Kartoffelchips. I personally love potato chips. You can actually make your own. I sometimes make my own. It's very easy and it's more healthy. So you, you um, cut them very thin but in the round shape so so you don't really so you just keep the potato as it is and then you um, fry them and just put salt and if you want like other things chili powder or whatever and here we go you have healthy potato chips margarine margarine Die Margarine, Margarine. Um, Germans actually love bread and they love margarine on bread with cheese and ham and marmalade. Actually, Germans, it's very common, they actually put margarine first and then Nutella on top. But it's very good. Mikrowellen Popcorn, Microwave Popcorn. Mikrowellen Popcorn is nicht sehr gesund, aber es gibt Alternativen. Microwave popcorn is not very healthy, but there are alternatives. 
My mom used to make popcorns all the time without the microwave and it's very easy. Um, well, you just buy like the, the corn, um, like dried corn and just uh, put it on the oven and wait until it pops. Easy peasy. <laughs> Soda. Soda. In German, there's also limonade, lemonade, which is, um, it's actually the healthier version, I think, of soda. It's just um, with a lot of lemon and uh, people drink that. And it's common actually in Germany, like kids, when they are trying to earn money, they actually sell lem lemonade in front of the house. Soda is nicht sehr gesund für den Körper. Soda is not that healthy for your body. Lemonade. Speck, Bacon. Speck wird oft in Deutschland mit Spiegelei gegessen. Uh, bacon is usually eaten with sunny side up eggs in Germany for breakfast. If it's once in a while, I think it's okay. Tiefkühlkost, frozen meals. Um, ja, ich denke heutzutage, wenn du viel arbeitest, dann kannst du dir auch mal Tiefkühlkost gönnen. I think nowadays, if you work really hard and you don't really have time, you can once in a while treat yourself with frozen meals. Bratwurst, grilled sausage. Deutsche essen sehr gerne Bratwurst. Germans love to eat grilled sausage. And it's not very healthy, I think, um, because it's like this grilled with oil. And it's a lot of fat. Leberwurst, Leberwurst. Um, so Leberwurst is eine deutsche Spezialität. Leberwurst is a German specialty. It's actually like a meat paste that you put in, in on top of your bread. And it's very fatty too because it has like all the um, pork and fatty pork in it. So it's not very healthy as well. Ten happy words. So let's be happy and start. Aufgeregt, excited. Aufgeregt, excited. Ich bin aufgeregt, jetzt mit euch dieses Video zu drehen. I am excited to film this video. Dynamisch, energetic. Dynamisch, energetic. Ich versuche jeden Tag, meinen mein Tag sehr dynamisch zu starten. I try to start my day very energetic. I wake up with a big smile. That makes a big difference if you try. You know, most people are not morning people, but I think if you start the day with a smile, then it will be a good day. Entspannt, relaxed. Entspannt, relaxed. Normalerweise ist der Sonntag mein Tag, wo ich entspanne. Usually Sundays is the day I relax. Uh, maybe it's a very German thing, but Sunday is in Germany a kind of a holy day for family to relax and just be with friends and not think about work or just anything. Freundlich, kind. Freundlich, kind. Meine Nachbarin ist um, sehr freundlich. My neighbor is very kind. Yeah, I think when you... Um, get along especially with neighbors that's very uh, nice and sometimes you know if you need something you can just ring the bell and ask for certain things so um, it's always good to be a kind neighbor remember that glücklich happy glücklich happy jeden tag sollte man glücklich verbringen every day should be a happy day well yeah some of you who have been following my videos maybe know that usually i'm very happy it actually takes a lot for me not to be happy so um yeah i think it's very positive and good for yourself to always be happy and learn german happily hoffnungsvoll hopeful Hoffnungsvoll, hopeful. Ich bin hoffnungsvoll, dass mein nächster Urlaub sehr ähm, gut sein wird. I am hopeful that my next summer vacation will be very good. I think we all look forward to our summer vacations and um, yeah, let me know what you have planned. Lachen, 
to laugh. Lachen, to laugh. Um, lachen is ansteckend. To laugh is contagious. I think to laugh is a universal language and um, it just is a good way to start a conversation or if you're new somewhere or in a country where you don't know, it's a good way to start and even learn a language by laughing. Lieben, to love. Lieben, to love. <laughs> ich liebe Hunde. I love dogs. Yes, I am a dog lover and um, well, if you've been following some of my other videos, I actually, uh, well, my parents actually own a German Shepherd and he's really sweet and I really love him. And um, dogs are just very kind animals. Lustig, funny. Lustig, funny. Ich liebe lustige Filme. I love funny movies. Well, comedies, funny movies are um, such a good way to spend, for example, a Sunday afternoon. Mögen, to like. Mögen, to like. Was mögt ihr an der deutschen Sprache? Um, what do you like most about the German language? Leave in the comments, I would love to know. Hi everybody, this is Henrik from GermanPop101.com. Do you know what monsters German people are scared of? In this lesson, you'll learn about three scary monsters in Germany. Let's start with the most popular monster. Weiße Frau. Weiße Frau. It means white woman in German. Weiße Frauen are elf-like spirits that live in forests. These spirits are not all evil. They sometimes help lost travelers find their way. However, they haunt castles with treasures and can appear very frightening. That sounds pretty scary, right? You might have heard about the next monster. The next one is Krampus. Krampus. It can be translated as claw in English. Krampus is a scary fanged and horned devil. He's also known as a Christmas devil. The horrific Krampus is a half man, half goat demon. His job is to scare disobedient children during Christmas and takes him to his lair for punishment. Okay, here's the last monster. Nachtalb. Nachtalb. Have you heard of this next one? This means Alp. The Nachtalb is a shape-shifting elf-like male demon or vampire. This vampire demon slips in through keyholes of rooms to give people nightmares. Often they compress the dreamer's chest so that the person cannot move or make a sound. Let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what we've learned. Listen to the names of each monster and repeat after me. White woman. Weiße Frau. Weiße Frau. Claw. Krampus. Krampus. Alp. Nachtalp. Nachtalp. Well done! Did you know there's a similar holiday to Halloween in Germany? German people celebrate a Halloween equivalent called the Perchten Pagan Festival in Bavaria. Participants dress as evil or scary monsters in order to drive away evil spirits. And that's it! You just learned about three of the most scariest monsters in Germany and about Perchten Pagan, a festival similar to Halloween. Now, learn German twice as fast by downloading all your PDF cheat sheets, including survival phrases, pickup lines, business etiquette, and more. Check out the description below and go to germanpod101.com now. I'll see you next time. Bis bald.
I don't really know how spirits skip around, but maybe like this. Stuffed animal, okay. How do I interact with a stuffed animal? Tja, ich weiß auch nicht so recht, was ihr davon wollt. 10 phrases for bad students. Um, yeah, I hope you're none of them, but um, yeah, let's get started. Aufschieben, procrastinate. Ich muss auch zugeben, dass ich manchmal bestimmte Sachen aufschiebe. I have to admit that sometimes some things I procrastinate as well. Yeah, I think when you have a goal in mind, it's the best to just do it right, right away instead of maybe, um, you know, saying, oh, I'll do it next week or tomorrow, even if it's just studying for like 10 minutes or something or 20 a day, it also, it makes a big difference. Bei einem Test mogeln, to cheat on a test. Bei einem Test mogeln, to cheat on a test. Es hilft einem selber eh nicht, wenn man bei einem Test mogelt. Um, it doesn't help you uh, anyways if you cheat on a test. Well, I think if you really want to learn something or um, if you really study, you actually don't even need to cheat because it's all in your head. Oh, I sound like a mom, don't cheat. <laughs> Die Klasse nicht bestehen. To fail a class. Die Klasse nicht bestehen. To fail a class. Es gibt einige Studenten, die die Klasse nicht bestehen. Um, there are a few students who fail a class, and uh, which is okay. I mean, sometimes, um, yeah, you didn't, you studied hard for another class, or you just simply weren't interested, and then you just have to take it again. Maybe it's even a good thing, and um, always stay positive. <laughs> Keine Hausaufgaben machen. To not do homework. Keine Hausaufgaben machen. To not do homework. Ich muss zugeben, dass ich auch ein paar Mal meine Hausaufgaben vergessen habe. I have to admit that I also didn't do homework sometimes. Yeah, so my mom actually always told me to do my homework right away after school, before I can go out play or just see my friends. So um, that's how I grew up and um, yeah, I think that's a good way to just not forget about it. Schikanieren, to bully. Schikanieren, to bully. Es ist nie gut, jemanden um, zu schikanieren. Uh, it is never good to bully another person. Schwänzen, to skip class. Schwänzen, to skip class. Manchmal hatte ich auch einfach Lust, meine Klasse zu schwänzen. Um, sometimes I was almost gonna skip some classes. Well, you know, we always have our favorite classes and not. And so, um, yeah, sometimes uh, it's okay to think about these things. I think it's normal and it's very uh, human. But um, yeah, try not to skip class. Nicht die Regeln befolgen. To not follow rules. Nicht die Regeln befolgen. To not follow rules. Ich finde, manchmal ist es aber gut, nicht die Regeln zu befolgen. Yeah, so what I meant with sometimes I think it's good to not follow rules. It's, um, yeah, follow laws and not don't hurt anybody. But like languages, there's no, of course, there's rules, but there's also some things that cannot be explained. Yeah, just say what you instantly mean, because that's what native speakers do. Plagiat. Plagiarism, Plagiat, Plagiarism. Plagiate sind nie ein gutes Zeichen und um, bringen dich nicht weiter. Plagiarism is um, never a good uh, sign or way and at the end it won't bring you forward in anything. And um, I think that's something we all learn at school anyways and it's called well, in German, it's called Fußnote, footnote, um, where you have a certain um, area in 
an essay to put the books or the authors you used in your essay. Schwänzer, truant. Schwänzer, truant. Ich glaube, dass ein Schwänzer es nie weit bringt. I believe that a truant never makes it far in life. Faul, lazy. Faul, lazy. Es ist wichtig, eine Balance zu haben. Also glaube ich schon, dass es okay ist, an manchen Tagen faul zu sein. I think you need a balance in your life, so it is okay to be lazy sometimes. I think that's important and we need that to be motivated. That's a good way to end the lesson. <laughs> Ten German foods. Apfelstrudel. Apple strudel. Der Apfelstrudel ist einer meiner Lieblingskuchen. The apple strudel is one of my favorite cakes. Bratwürste mit Kartoffelbrei. Bratwurst with mashed potato. When you think of Germany, that's maybe one of the first things that comes up. It's a Bratwurst mit Kartoffelbrei und Bier. So Bratwurst with mashed potato and beer. If you are visiting Germany, I think that's a must have. Brezel. Pretzel. There's a lot of beer festivals. It's usually with beer and pretzel. Currywurst, curried sausage. Currywurst gibt es normalerweise an jeder Straßenecke. Curried sausage is normally sold at every street corner. So if you're in the city shopping and you get hungry, you should try a curried sausage. Kartoffelknödel, potato dumpling. Ich liebe Kartoffelknödel. I love potato dumpling. It's really good and I think it's very German too. I don't know why, but I think most Germans eat it on a Sunday. Kassler. Kassler. Kassler isst man normalerweise mit äh, Sauerkraut. Kassler is usually eaten with sauerkraut. Kassler is very specific to South Germany. If you travel to South Germany and You cannot eat any more Bratwurst sausage. You should try Kassler. Sauerkraut, Sauerkraut. Es gibt viele verschiedene Arten von Sauerkraut. There's a lot of different types of Sauerkraut. Some of them are actually white and then there's others that are purple. It's very good for your body and very healthy. Schwarzwälder Kirschtorte, Black Forest Cake. Die Schwarzwälder Kirschtorte ist einer der berühmtesten Kuchen aus Deutschland. The Black Forest Cake is one of the most famous cakes in Germany. They use really big and yummy cherries. So if you have a chance to eat it, definitely eat it. Schweinebraten, roast pork. Man isst gerne Schweinebraten zum Oktoberfest. People like to eat roast pork for Oktoberfest. Schweinebraten is something from South Germany. If you have a chance to go to Bavaria, you should definitely try Schweinebraten, roast pork. Weißwurst, white sausage. White sausage is good with beer. Yeah, so this is another typical food from the Oktoberfest. A lot of people eat the pretzel with a white sausage and beer. It's a typical and very famous for Bavaria. Hi everyone! Do you know the 1000 most useful phrases in German? In this lesson, you'll be able to know all of them. So sit back, relax and have a cup of tea as you listen and learn. Wo ist die Toilette? Entschuldigung. Toll! Ich habe eine Reservierung. Wie viel kostet das? Was ist das? Danke. Wirklich? Könnten Sie mir einen Rabatt geben? Ist das WLAN kostenlos? Die Rechnung bitte. Haben Sie Empfehlungen? Kann ich das anprobieren? You just learned the 1,000 most useful phrases in German. And if you're interested in learning more, try learning the core 2,000 word list.
With this, you'll understand 95% of the language, and best of all, this is not a joke. Check out the description below and go to germanpod101.com now. See you next time. How are your German listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Eine Frau, die für die Designabteilung arbeitet, unterhält sich mit ihrem Kollegen vom Forschungs- und Entwicklungsteam. Wähle die korrekten Produktverpackungen. Wir hätten gerne, dass Sie Verpackungen für unsere neuen Schokoladenprodukte entwerfen. Wir planen eine duale Produkteinführung. Eine ist eine süße Schokolade mit 30% Kakaoanteil. Die andere ist eine bittersüße mit 80% Kakao. Ich verstehe. Also möchten wir, dass die 30% und 80% Buchstaben herausstechen? Ja, vielleicht können wir sie in der Mitte der Verpackung haben oder andere Farben benutzen. In Ordnung. Für die süße Schokolade, wie wäre es, eine rote Box mit schwarzen Buchstaben zu benutzen, auf der 30% steht. Und für die bittersüße können wir eine schwarze Box mit roten Buchstaben benutzen, auf der 80% steht. Hm. Oder wie wäre es, goldene Buchstaben für beide zu benutzen? Ich glaube, das würde besser das luxuriöse Image zeigen. Gute Idee. Ich denke, wir sollten die Buchstaben auch mit weiß umranden, um sie deutlicher zu machen. Bezüglich der Anordnung des Designs wäre es okay, Kakao oben links zu schreiben, dann ein Bild der Schokolade in der Mitte und der Prozentsatz des Kakaos unten rechts? Ja, und bitte benutzen Sie größere Schrift für den Prozentsatz. Ich hätte auch gerne, dass es in einer anderen Schriftart geschrieben wird als der Produktname. Und gehen Sie sicher, dass Sie es fett schreiben. Verstanden. Wir werden Ihnen eine E-Mail schreiben, wenn die Verpackungen fertig sind. Bis wann brauchen Sie sie? Falls möglich, können Sie sie bitte bis zum Ende dieser Woche machen? Bis zum Ende dieser Woche? Okay, wir werden unser Bestes geben. Wähle die korrekten Produktverpackungen. Eine Frau, die für die Designabteilung arbeitet, unterhält sich mit ihrem Kollegen vom Forschungs- und Entwicklungsteam. Wähle die korrekten Produktverpackungen. Wir hätten gerne, dass Sie Verpackungen für unsere neuen Schokoladenprodukte entwerfen. Wir planen eine duale Produkteinführung. Eine ist eine süße Schokolade mit 30% Kakaoanteil. Die andere ist eine bittersüße mit 80% Kakao. Ich verstehe. Also möchten wir, dass die 30% und 80% Buchstaben herausstechen? Ja, vielleicht können wir sie in der Mitte der Verpackung haben oder andere Farben benutzen. In Ordnung. Für die süße Schokolade, wie wäre es, eine rote Box mit schwarzen Buchstaben zu benutzen, auf der 30% steht. Und für die bittersüße können wir eine schwarze Box mit roten Buchstaben benutzen, auf der 80% steht. Hm. Oder wie wäre es, goldene Buchstaben für beide zu benutzen? Ich glaube, das würde besser das luxuriöse Image zeigen. Gute Idee. Ich denke, wir sollten die Buchstaben auch mit weiß umranden, um sie deutlicher zu machen. Bezüglich der Anordnung des Designs wäre es okay, Kakao oben links zu schreiben, dann ein Bild der Schokolade in der Mitte und der Prozentsatz des Kakaos unten rechts? Ja, und bitte benutzen Sie größere Schrift für den Prozentsatz. Ich hätte auch gerne, dass es in einer anderen Schriftart geschrieben wird als der Produktname. Und gehen Sie sicher, dass Sie es fett schreiben. Verstanden. Wir werden Ihnen eine E-Mail schreiben, wenn die Verpackungen fertig sind. Bis wann brauchen Sie sie? Falls möglich, können Sie sie bitte bis zum Ende dieser Woche machen? Bis zum Ende dieser Woche? Okay, wir werden unser Bestes geben. Ich heiße Judith. Hi, I'm Chuck. Sie hören GermanPod101.com. You're listening to GermanPod101.com. This is Newbie Series Lesson 3. Want to learn German anywhere, anytime? 
Get the Innovative Language 101 app for free. Hello, my name is Elisa. Welcome to Top 25 German Adjectives. Let's start. Gut. Good. Heute bin ich gut drauf. Today I am in a good mood. Die guten alten Zeiten. The good old days. Neu. New. So depending on the article, the adjective changes in German as well. Das neue Mädchen in der Klasse. The new girl in class. Der neue Hund meiner Nachbarin. The new dog of my neighbors. Erste. First. Ich war noch nie Fallschirmspringen, also würde ich es sehr gerne ausprobieren und es wäre mein erstes Mal. I've never gone skydiving before, so it would be my first time and that's exciting. Letzte, last. Ich war das letzte Mal am Meer vor circa einem Jahr. The last time I was at the ocean was about one year ago. Lecker, tasty. Ich liebe leckeres Essen. Wer nicht? I love tasty food. Who doesn't? Ich finde scharfes Essen sehr lecker. I think spicy food is very tasty. Krank, ill. Ich war letztens zehn Tage krank. I was ill for 10 days actually. Klein, little. Ich finde kleine Hunde süß. I think little dogs are cute. Laut, loud. Das Stadtleben ist laut. The city life is loud. Die laute Musik. The loud music. Groß, big. Mein Hund ist ziemlich groß. My dog is pretty big. Andere, other. So it, it is singular and plural. Ich habe lustige Freunde, aber auch andere Freunde. I have funny friends, but also other friends. Wer ist die andere Person? Who is that other person? Yep. Alt, old. Ich mag alte Schätze. I love old treasures. Ich mag alte Omas, die sind sehr süß. I like old grandmas, they're really cute. Kalt, cold. Ich mag es überhaupt nicht, wenn es kalt ist. I don't like it at all when it's cold. Müde, tired. Um, ja, heute bin ich etwas müde. Ich hoffe, ihr seht das nicht. Um, today I'm a little tired. I hope you don't see it. Gut gelaunt, cheerful. Ich bin meistens gut gelaunt oder versuche, alles gut gelaunt zu sehen. I am most of the times cheerful and I try to see everything as cheerful. Verrückt, crazy. Ich glaube, einige Leute denken, ich bin verrückt. I think a lot of people actually think I'm crazy and I love it. Ich finde, die, mit den besten Freunden kannst du immer verrückt sein. I think with your best friends you can always be crazy. Those are the best ones. Lustig, funny, finde mich immer sehr lustig, vielleicht andere nicht, aber ich. I think I'm funny, even though maybe other people don't, but I think so. Einer meiner lieblingslustigen Schauspieler ist Ben Stiller. One of the most funniest actors is Ben Stiller. Schön, pretty, das schöne Mädchen, the pretty girl, or der schöne Sonnenuntergang, the pretty sunset. Schwierig, difficult. Ich fand Mathematik immer sehr schwierig. I always thought math was very difficult. Heiß, hot. Das Essen ist heiß. The food is hot. Or you can say also um, hot as in the weather is hot. Wichtig, important. Ich finde das Wichtigste ist sich selber treu zu bleiben. I think the most important thing is to be true to yourself. Interessant, interesting. 
Ich finde Kunst sehr interessant. I think art is very interesting. Es gibt auch viele interessante Personen. There are a lot of interesting people. Super, great. Das Essen war heute super. The food was great today. Eine super Erfahrung war für mich, als ich tauchen war in Ägypten. Uh, one of the most greatest experience for me was to dive in Egypt. Schlecht, bad. Das schlechte Wetter would be the bad weather. So there's an E again, depending on the article. Das schlechte Essen. The bad food. Langweilig, boring. Mir ist nie langweilig. Ich finde immer etwas. Uh, I am actually never bored. I always find something to do or funny. And, um, weit, far. Ich liebe es, weit weg zu reisen. I love to travel to far away places. Die Strecke von meinem Haus zur Arbeit ist weit. The way from my house to work is far. Thank you for watching Top 25 German Adjectives. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to see more videos with me. What was your favorite adjective? Leave in the comments below. Hope to see you soon. Bye. Maybe yeah, I like move too much. Hi, welcome to Introduction to German. My name is Alicia and I'm joined by Hi everyone, I'm Jenny. In this series, you learn everything you need to know to get started learning German. That's right, and we're here to help guide you through your journey. In this lesson, you'll learn the reasons you should start learning a new language, why you should learn German in particular, and how to get started. There are countless reasons, but perhaps the biggest one of all is that it could actually change your life. Learning a new language unlocks new pathways that are off limits to you now. There are certain things that you simply cannot do without having the technical or cultural skills that come from learning a new language. Like working or living in another country. Knowing another language provides you with greater job opportunities. You have the freedom to move to another country halfway around the world and be able to earn a living, or even better yet, build a career from it, instead of just being stuck in one place. Language allows you to visit or live in places that you may never have even considered going, simply because that wasn't a possibility for you. Knowing another language simply gives you more options to choose from. And learning a new language also helps you to be more open-minded and see the world from a new perspective. Language and culture go hand in hand. The world is a big place, and by broadening your understanding of other cultures, it allows you to be more empathetic and understanding of the many different ways that people live their lives. With language, you're able to see and experience more, which helps you to grow as a person. Learning a new language also improves your memory. Several studies have consistently shown that those who study another language have improved memory as opposed to those who didn't learn another language. Learning another language also keeps your brain healthy by significantly delaying the onset of Alzheimer's and dementia. This difference can be as much as four to five more years of quality life. And those are just some of the reasons you should learn another language. The list just goes on and on. Now you know the benefits of studying another language, but why should you learn German in particular? Have you heard of Adidas, BMW, or Audi? Well, they all come from Germany. Knowing German opens many career opportunities. Germany leads scientific research in many fields. In fact, many scientific studies are originally published in German. Some of civilization's most significant inventions, like the bicycle or the printing press, were developed in Germany. And what about the fact that Germany has the fourth largest economy in the world? Germany has the largest economy in the European Union. Germany is renowned for its high quality craftsmanship and engineering. German car makers take up a large percentage of the global automobile market. Volkswagen, Daimler and BMW alone make up one fifth of the entire automobile industry worldwide. Knowing the German language can open up business opportunities for you. Understanding their customs and work ethic can go a very long way in the world of business. Oftentimes it could even make or break an important business deal. So knowing German will put you ahead of the pack. Germany is also one of the top-ranked tourism destinations in the world. Germany is known for its festive culture, most notably for hosting Oktoberfest, which is a yearly beer festival of epic proportions. It hosts roughly 6 million visitors every year. 
Oktoberfest takes place in Bavaria in southern Germany, where many of Germany's pristine castles are located. In fact, castles like Schloss Neuschwanstein was actually the original model for the iconic Disney castle today. Another spot I really like is the Zugspitze, Germany's highest mountain. Being at the top gives you a great view of the Alps and the German countryside. In northern Germany, Berlin is of particular interest as this city has a mixture of cultures and ethnic groups as well as historical sites, museums and street art. If you love traveling and exploring, learning German is a must because it allows you to discover much more of Germany than just common tourist spots. Okay then, we've talked about why you should start learning a new language and why you should start learning German, but how can you get started, Jenny? The good news is that you already know some German. Kindergarten, Dachshund, Gesundheit. Not only does German use the same Roman script as English, but there are many loan words that have made their way into English. According to researchers, roughly 26% of modern English is derived from Germanic roots. The reverse is also true. Many English words are now used in German too. In fact, 10% of all the words in German are borrowed from English. Outlet, club, computer. This means that you already know about 10% of German vocabulary. Let's teach you something that you might not know, but is very useful. Dankeschön. It means thank you very much in German. That's a useful phrase, but can you please explain a little more about it? Sure, the first part, danke, can stand alone. It means thanks. The second part, schön, means pretty. It makes danke more polite. So the phrase dankeschön essentially means thank you very much. These two dots here will be unfamiliar to English speakers, but don't worry, we'll talk a little bit about them in the next lesson. For now, just listen and repeat after Jenny. Dankeschön. Now you try. Dankeschön. Your turn again. Dankeschön. One last time. Dankeschön. Well done. Now you know how to say thank you very much in German. We've covered a lot of things already, so why don't we wrap up the first lesson and recap on what we've learned. In this lesson, you learned that studying another language has many benefits, such as opening up career and business opportunities. Germany has a rich culture with many things to see and learn, and to say thank you very much in German, it's... Dankeschön. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Top 15 Questions You Should Know for Conversations. My name is Elisa, and let's get started. Magst du deutsches Essen? Do you like German food? Magst du deutsches Essen? Do you like German food? Eines meiner Lieblingsspeisen aus Deutschland sind Knödel. One of my favorite German foods is Knödel. It actually is made of potatoes. It's like a potato powder and you um, boil it in water. It's very German, actually. Um, it's called Knödel. Wann ist dein Geburtstag? When is your birthday? Wann ist dein Geburtstag? When is your birthday? Mein Geburtstag ist am 6. Januar. My birthday is on January 6th. It's actually another German holiday. <laughs> so remember my birthday and send me birthday gifts. <laughs> I'm joking. Warst du schon einmal in Deutschland? Have you been to Germany? Warst du schon einmal in Deutschland? Wenn, falls ihr schon mal in Deutschland wart, um, würde ich das würde ich gerne eure Geschichten hören. Um, if you've ever been to Germany, let me know your stories and leave it in the comments. Was hast du gesagt? What did you say? If you are learning German and you don't understand the German people when they're talking fast, it's, um, yeah, you can say that. Like, what, was hast du gesagt? What did you say? Was ist das? What's this? Was ist das? 
What's this? If you uh, don't know a word in German or if you see something that you haven't seen before, you usually say, was ist das? What's this? So, uh, was ist das? Um, ja, das ist ein Fernseher. What's this? This is a TV. Oh my God, of course. <laughs> Wie alt bist du? How old are you? Wie alt bist du? How old are you? Wie heißt du? Wie alt bist du? Um, der What's your name? How old are you? And uh, to, if you are trying to get to know someone, and that's a very common question. Wie geht es dir? How are you? Wie geht es dir? How are you? Heute geht es mir blendend. Um, Today I am really great. Uh, wie geht es dir is something that you kind of add to, like Hallo, wie geht es dir? Hello, how are you? Wie ist dein Name? What's your name? Wie ist dein Name? What's your name? Mein Name ist Alisa. My name is Elisa. So what's your name? Remember that one. And don't forget the name, you know. Wie lange lernst du schon Deutsch? How long have you been studying German? Wie lange lernst du schon Deutsch? How long have you been studying German? Ich würde gerne wissen, wie lange ihr schon Deutsch lernt. Um, yeah, how, I'm curious to know how long have you been studying German? Leave me in the comments. Since I read them. Wie lautet deine Telefonnummer? What's your phone number? Wie lautet deine Telefonnummer? What's your phone number? I think it's important if you're in a country that you don't know and you're new, you're trying to connect and so try to meet as much people as possible, get their phone numbers and meet them again. And so uh, remember this question. Wo arbeitest du? Where do you work? Wo arbeitest du? Where do you work? You know, some people who go maybe for a year to Germany to learn the language, they have a side job that they, um, they're working on. That's a good way too to learn German because every day you'll be speaking in uh, German anyways. So, wo hast du Deutsch gelernt? Where did you learn German? Wo hast du Deutsch gelernt? Where did you learn German? Ja, ich würde gerne wissen, wo ihr Deutsch gelernt habt, entweder in der Schule oder vielleicht bei einer Gastfamilie. Um, yeah, I'm curious to know, where did you learn German? Maybe at a language school or maybe you went to Germany for a few months with a host family. I would love to know, um, of course, besides German pod, where did you learn German? Wo kommst du her? Where are you from? Wo kommst du her? Where are you from? Ich würde ge gerne wissen, woher ihr kommt. Um, yeah, I would love to know where you are from. Wo lebst du? Where do you live? Wo lebst du? Where do you live? Ich würde gerne wissen, falls ihr schon mal Deutschland besucht habt, wo ihr da gelebt habt. Um, I would love to know where you were living in Germany when you visited or if you've been there for a while, where did you live? Was ist deine Lieblingsstadt in Deutschland? What is your favorite city in Germany? Was ist deine Lieblingsstadt in Deutschland? What is your favorite city in Germany? I don't really have a favorite German city because I have a lot in Germany. Like I couldn't say this is the my favorite city. I think a lot are very pretty and special and very different. Thank you for watching the top 15 questions you should know for conversations. Leave in the comments your answers and don't forget to subscribe and see you soon. Bye! Hello, my name is Elisa and today we're doing the top 25 German nouns. Let's start! Der Name, name. The plural version is die Namen. Mein Name ist Alisa. My name is Alisa. Mein Spitzname ist Lieschen. My nickname is Lieschen. Die Uhrzeit. Time of day. Wie viel Uhr ist es? Die Uhrzeit ist 11 Uhr. Der Mann. Man. Die Männer. Men. 
Die typischen deutschen Männer sind groß und blond. The typical German men are tall and blond. Die Frau, woman. Die Frauen, women. Die deutschen Frauen sind starke Frauen. The German women are tough women. <lacht> die Person, person. Die Personen, people. Die Personen in Deutschland sind sehr freundlich. The people in Germany are friendly. Die Sache, thing. Die Sachen, things. So, uh, Sache, die Sache is more used in written German language. Die Sachen in meinem Zimmer sehen chaotisch aus. The things in my room look chaotic. Die Sache is a very formal way of saying things. So, uh, das Ding, die Dinge, is a very casual way of saying thing. Uh, I actually use it a lot for everything. Die Mutter, mother, die Mütter, mothers. Einige meiner Freundinnen sind schon Mütter. A few of my friends are already mothers. Der Tag, day. Die Tage, days. Mein Tag hat heute sehr früh angefangen. My day started very early today. Regnerische Tage, rainy days. Der Moment, moment. Die Momente, moments. Was war dein schönster Moment? What was your most special moment? Die Momente im Leben. The moments in life. Der Vater. Father. Die Väter. Fathers. Mein Vater ist Deutsch. My father is German. Die Väter in Deutschland lieben es Bier zu trinken. Fathers in Germany love to drink beer. I'm, I'm sure not only Germany, but... Der Bruder, brother, die Brüder, brothers. Ich habe einen Bruder. I have one brother. Die Freizeit, free time or leisure time. In meiner Freizeit unternehme ich gerne etwas draußen. In my free time I like to be outside. Die Tochter, daughter. Die Töchter, daughters. Ich bin eine komplizierte Tochter. I am a complicated daughter, I think, to my mother. Der Sohn, son. Die Söhne, sons. Der nette Sohn von nebenan. The nice son from next door. Das Kind, child. Die Kinder, children. Ich bin immer noch sehr oft Kind. I am still a lot of times a child. Die Kinder in Deutschland spielen gerne draußen. The children in Germany like to play outside. Das Wort, word. Die Wörter, words. Du wirst jetzt 25 Wörter lernen. You will learn 25 words. Der Kopf, head. Die Köpfe, heads. Okay, so der rollende Kopf, the rolling head. In uh, German, if you do something bad, it's a way of saying die rollenden Köpfe or your heads will roll. It's the same saying as in German, die, die rollenden Köpfe. Die lustigen Köpfe der Klasse, the funny Heads in the classroom. There are always some class clowns. In Germany we call them the ach die lustigen Köpfe der Klasse. Der Freund, friend. Die Freunde, friends. In German could mean my friend or also my boyfriend. 
Meine Freunde sind super. My friends are awesome. Oh, ist das dein Freund, Freund oder Freund? So, Freund, Freund uh, means is that your boyfriend or is it just a friend? Die Schwester, Sister. Die Schwestern, Sisters. Viele meiner Freundinnen sind wie Schwestern. A lot of my friends are like sisters to me. Die Arbeit, work. Die Arbeiten, work, as in a plural version. Was ist deine Arbeit? What is your work? Die Woche, week. Die Wochen, weeks. Meine Woche hat sehr gut angefangen. My week started very well. Die kommenden Wochen werden heiß. The next weeks are going to be hot. Der Monat, month. Die Monate, months. Mein Geburtstagsmonat ist Januar. My birthday month is January. Was sind deine Lieblingsmonate? What are your favorite months? Das Jahr, year. Die Jahre, years. Welches Jahr ist dein Geburtsjahr? What year is your birth year? Die letzten Jahre vergingen sehr schnell. The last years went by fast. Das Zuhause, home. Ich fühle mich an verschiedenen Orten zu Hause. I feel home in different kind of places. Die Nummer, number. Die Nummern, numbers. Das ist die Nummer 25 dieser Lektion. This is number 25 of this lesson. Thank you for watching the top 25 German nouns. Make sure to subscribe to watch more videos with me. Thank you. Bye! Hello, it's Elisa. Welcome to 10 phrases you never want to hear. Let's begin! Es liegt nicht an dir, es liegt an mir. It is not you, it is me. Es liegt nicht an dir, es liegt an mir. It is not you, it's me. Yeah, so it's something we don't want to hear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Haben Sie in der letzten Zeit zugenommen? Have you gained weight recently? Haben Sie in der letzten Zeit zugenommen? Have you gained weight recently? Yeah, so to all guys out there, don't ever ask that to a girl because it's uh, not nice. I mean, if you're friends and you want to be honest, of course you can ask that, but I would... Yes, I would be sad and mad. Ich habe es Ihnen doch gesagt. I told you so. Ich habe es Ihnen doch gesagt. I told you so. Yes, oh my God, I hear that a lot of times. I told you so. It's so, it's not a nice thing to say, I think. Especially your friends, if uh, I think they should, they should never say that because they're supposed to be there for you and not say I told you so. And um, because it's your journey, you know, everything you do. Remember that. Ich kann dir dein Geld heute nicht geben. I don't have your money today. Ich kann dir dein Geld heute nicht geben. I don't have your money today. Yeah, so money issues are, I think, always a little awkward. So, um, yeah, but if your employee says that, no. If an employee says that, no, no, no. Sie haben ein graues Haar. You have a gray hair. Sie haben ein graues Haar. You have a gray hair. Yes, at least it's gray and not white, I guess, because, <laughs> I mean, gray is still good, I think. So I feel like these things is mostly guys saying to girls, so don't ever say that. It's not nice. Sie sind gefeuert. You're fired. Sie sind gefeuert? <laughs> You're fired. That's a not very nice thing to say either. I guess the well, what whoever says it has their reasons. In German, also the word Feuer, fire is in the word gefeuert. I always find it interesting to kind of compare what is in the word and if it's similar to English. Sorry, ich habe es vergessen. Sorry, I forgot. 
Sorry, ich habe es vergessen. Sorry, I forgot. I actually say that a lot because I do forget a lot. So um, I say that and people don't like that. Vielen Dank für Ihren Lebenslauf. Die Stelle wurde allerdings bereits anderweitig besetzt. Thank you for your resume. However, the position has been filled. Vielen Dank für Ihren Lebenslauf. Die Stelle wurde allerdings bereits anderweitig besetzt. Thank you for your resume. However, the position has been filled. Yes, I mean, whoever has this experience with applying and applying and applying, of course, um, you'll hear that sometimes. And it's okay, I think, because it just means that it wasn't meant to be and you can move on. So don't get discouraged if you hear this or read it and it's okay. And even though we don't want to hear it, always be positive. Wir müssen reden. We need to talk. Wir müssen reden. We need to talk. It's something very serious. Sometimes when you talk about it, it just feels better because there was some misunderstanding. So um, yeah, try to, yes, be positive. Wir sollten uns auch mit anderen Leuten treffen. We should see other people. Wir sollten uns auch mit anderen Leuten treffen. We should see other people. Well, if you're in a relationship and your partner says that, I, I don't think it's very nice because it, you know, it means that he or she or whatever is not very committed to you. So, um, yes, so just... Thank you for watching 10 phrases you never want to hear. What are some of the phrases that you've been told that you didn't want to hear? If you know them in German, I would love to hear them in German. And please don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you soon. Bye. My motto in life is if you have nothing good to say, don't say it at all. <laughs> Thank you. Well, hello, my name is Elisa. Welcome to the top hardest words to pronounce in German. Let's do this. Ähnlich, similar. Ich sehe meinem Bruder ähnlich. I look similar to my brother. Ä is the A umlaut in CH, which you kind of pronounce here. And H, it's kind of a, I always explain it as a snake, like H. So ähnlich. Eichhörnchen, squirrel, squirrel. Yeah, this one is very hard because there's a lot of sh and then uh. Ich finde Eichhörnchen sehr süß. I think squirrels are very cute. So Eichhörnchen. Hörnchen is the cute form of horns. So if you refer to something kind of cute and little, you always add a chen. Etikettierung, labeling. Etikett is um, the label and Etikettierung is if you are labeling something. Mein Schulranzen hatte eine Etikettierung. My school bag had a label with my name on it. Hose, pants, die Hose. Ich habe heute eine Jeanshose an. Today I'm wearing jeans. Streichholz Schachtel. Matchbox. It's die Streichholz Schachtel. So Streichholz Schachtel consists of three different words. Streichen, Streich means rub. Holz is wood. Schachtel is box. Um Feuer anzuzünden, brauche ich eine Streichholz Schachtel. To make a fire, I need a matchbox. Über, over. Ich finde mich über cool. <laughs> I think I am super cool. Ich springe über den Zaun. I jump over the fence. So über can be used as in over a fence, like über den Zaun, but also I am über cool, uh, um, like I'm super cool. Überwachung, monitoring. Die Überwachung, you really have to watch 
something very closely or so überwachung gefängnisse benötigen überwachung uh, jails need monitoring umweltverschmutzung pollution die umweltverschmutzung umwelt means environment and verschmutzung means dirt or dirtiness and um, Heutzutage sollte sich jeder Gedanken machen über Umweltverschmutzung. Nowadays, I think it's very important that everybody should think of pollution. You don't pronounce every single letter, so it's Umweltverschmutzung, and, but the, that's why it's hard to pronounce. Wettbewerbsfähig, competitive. Fähig is something you add to a lot of things if you are capable of doing it. This one is hard as well because the HI is not very common. Fähig. Der Arbeitsmarkt ist sehr wettbewerbsfähig. The work world <laughs> is very competitive. Zuhören. Listen. Ich hoffe, ihr hört mir zu. I hope you're listening. Now, usually the Ö is pronounced very clearly, like Ö, Öl, oil. But in this case, since the I, uh, the H is before and the R after, it's kind of like zu hören. Thank you for watching the top 10 hardest words to pronounce. What was your hardest word to pronounce? Leave it in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos with me bye yay hi it's elisa welcome to a new video lesson 10 lines you need to know for introducing yourself let's begin my name is alisa my name is elisa my name is alisa what's your name was ist dein name Hallo, es ist schön, Sie kennenzulernen. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Hallo, es ist schön, Sie kennenzulernen. Hello, it is nice to meet you. As in English, when you introduce yourself and you meet somebody for the first time, you just add, of course, es ist schön, Sie kennenzulernen. It is nice to meet you. Eines meiner Hobbys ist, mit meinem Hund spazieren zu gehen. One of my hobbies is to walk my dog. Eines meiner Hobbys ist, mit meinem Hund spazieren zu gehen. One of my hobbies is to walk my dog. If you've seen some of my other videos, you know that I have a dog, a German Shepherd, and I actually love to go on a walk with him and play with his ball. He loves it. Yeah, what is your hobby? Ich bin... Jahre alt. I am years old. Ich bin Punkt, 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 Jahre alt. I am dot, 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 years old. Wie alt bist du? How old are you? Ich bin Grafik- und Textildesignerin. I am a graphic and textile designer. Ich bin is used for many, many things. It's something you should definitely um, learn and memorize because it's for almost everything. Ich, ich bin hungrig, I'm hungry. So ich bin in this case is referred to your profession. So please tell me, what do you do? Ich komme aus Deutschland. I am from Germany. Ich komme aus Deutschland. I am from Germany. Woher kommst du? Where are you from? Leave me in the comments. Ich höre gerne Musik. I enjoy listening to music. Ich höre gerne Musik. I enjoy listening to music. What is your favorite kind of music? Was ist deine Lieblingsmusik? Ich lebe in... Punkt, Punkt, Punkt. I live in... Ich lebe in Punkt, Punkt, Punkt. I live in blank. Ich lebe in Köln. I live in Cologne. I used to live there, now I don't, but uh, Cologne is a very fun city. If you have a chance, go visit. Um, yeah, where do you live? Wo lebst du? Leave in the comments. Ich lerne seit Punkt, Punkt, Jahren Deutsch. 
I've been learning German for dot 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 years. Ich lerne seit Punkt Punkt Deutsch. I've been learning German for blank. Obviously, I grew up uh, talking German. Ich lerne Deutsch auf germanpod101.com. I'm learning German at germanpod101.com. Ich lerne Deutsch auf germanpod101.com. I'm learning German at germanpod101.com. How long have you been learning German with germanpod101.com? Thank you for watching the top 10 lines you need to know for introducing yourself. Please don't forget to subscribe and leave me in the comments what was your favorite line. Bye! Back to the basics. <laughs> mein Name ist Alisa. My name is Alisa. So that is a very important sentence you need to know. Okay, that was so not funny. Hi. Hello, it's Alisa. Welcome to the top 10 phrases you always want to hear. Let's begin. Das Budget ist unbegrenzt. The budget is unlimited. This is like a dream for every woman, I think. Das Budget ist unbegrenzt. The budget is unlimited. Who doesn't want to hear that all the time? I would love to hear that because I love shopping. Du bist ein ausgezeichneter Koch. You are an excellent cook. Du bist ein ausgezeichneter Koch. You are an excellent cook. Or if it's a girl, you would say, du bist eine ausgezeichnete Köchin. We want to be equal, you know? I'm actually not a good cook, by the way. I'll, I try. Du siehst toll aus heute. You look great today. Du siehst toll aus heute. Dankeschön. You look great today. Thank you. Who doesn't love to hear that? Um, especially on a Monday morning. <laughs> Es wird einen Bonus am Ende des Monats geben. There'll be a bonus at the end of the month. Es wird einen Bonus am Ende des Monats geben. There'll be a bonus at the end of the month. What would you do if you've got a bonus at the end of this month? I actually wouldn't know. Maybe I'll go shopping, but, but then maybe I'll go on a vacation or something. That would be nice vacation. I would go to um, like Fiji, to the Fiji <sighs> Islands and just be at the beach and in nature. I think that's what I would love to do. Gute Arbeit, you did a great job. Gute Arbeit, you did a great job. I'm sure you've been all doing a great job in learning German with me. And um, I hope you still keep learning with us. So if, um, yeah, gute Arbeit, Dankeschön. You did a great job. Thank you. Ich habe dir etwas Besonderes mitgebracht. I brought you something special today. Ich habe dir etwas Besonderes mitgebracht. I brought you something special. Now that's a nice one as well. Who doesn't like presents? I think what is special to me is more of a, well, something that's thoughtful, you know, or a memory, or it's not about how big it, something is or how, how expensive. I think it's something that, um, you know, if people bring you something special, it, it's usually something that they thought of or maybe they made themselves. I love those kind of things. What is something special you've got as a present? Leave me in the comments and tell me. Ich vermisse dich. I miss you. Ich vermisse dich. I miss you. Who is somebody you miss or what? Maybe a dog too. To all the dog lovers out there, leave in the comments. What kind of dog do you have? Mach eine Pause. Ich werde heute putzen. Take a break. I'll do the cleaning today. Mach eine Pause. Ich werde heute putzen. Take a break. I'll do the cleaning today. Oh, that is a really good one. That's actually a very special present. I think that's something you should do for the whole day. Just, um, you know, be there and just clean the house for once. Sie hatten recht. You were right. 
Sie hatten recht. You were right. Yes, I love to hear that too. I actually think I'm always right, so... Um. <laughs> oh my God. Und sie gewinnen. And you win. Und sie gewinnen. And you win. Have you won something? Maybe you play a sport or you're in a team and... I would be really interested to know what you do and or if you've even won something in, in a lottery or whatever or you did some competition, anything, leave in the comments. What is your favorite compliment or phrase you've ever heard or if you want to hear something, leave in the comments and if you can in German. Thank you for watching the 10 phrases you always want to hear and please don't forget to subscribe and see you soon. Bye. Cut. <laughs> Ready. Hello, welcome to German Weekly Words. My name is Elisa and today's topic is cooking. The first word is grillen, barbecue. Uh, am Rhein kann man sehr schön grillen. At the Rhine, um, there are really pretty places to barbecue. In the summertime, it's very common that young people come together, friends or even family, and barbecue at the, at the Rhine. There are spots where it's not allowed, uh, but uh, yeah, it's really fun. Pfeffer, pepper. It is um, das Pfeffer, so it's neutral. Ich liebe Pfeffer und brauche das auch immer in meinem Essen. I love pepper and I always need it in my uh, meals. Salz, salt. Brezel mit Salz ist einer meiner Lieblingsgerichte uh, aus Deutschland. One of my favorite meals from Germany is actually Brezel with salt. Zutat, ingredient. It is die Zutat, it's feminine. Bevor ich einen Kuchen backe, gucke ich mir die Zutaten an. Before I bake a cake, I look at the ingredients and I read what I need. Speiseöl, cooking oil. It is um, das Öl, so it is das Speiseöl. Speiseöl, finde ich, gehört zu jedem Essen dazu. I think cooking oil belongs to every meal. Thank you for watching and um, tell me what's your favorite uh, cooking ingredient or experience. Maybe you had a crazy cooking experience. Leave in the comments and I hope to see you soon. Bye. Hello, my name is Elisa. Welcome to German Weekly Words and today's topic is sports. Ice hockey. Ice hockey. <laughs> Eishockey. Ja, in Köln gibt es eine sehr berühmte Eishockeymannschaft, die Kölner Haie uh, in, in Cologne. There's a very famous ice hockey team, the Cologne Sharks. I've ice skated before, but I've never done ice hockey. Fußball, um, football, soccer. In Deutschland ist Fußball die Sportart. In Germany, soccer is the most popular sport. Leichtathletik, track and field. It is die Leichtathletik, track and field. Ich gucke gerne während der Olympischen Spiele Leichtathletik. I actually like to watch during the Olympic Games track and field. Schwimmen, swimming. Als ich in der Schule war, war ich, bin ich äh, geschwommen und war in einem Schwimmteam. Uh, when I was in school, I used to go swimming in a swim team. I used to do competitions. Skifahren, skiing. Ich uh, liebe Skifahren. I actually love skiing. South of Germany, you can go skiing. This was um, about sport. Tell me your favorite sport and uh, leave in the comments. I hope to see you soon. Bye. My favorite sport is swimming.